this video is about the hands and the feet. First of all, we're going to take a look at the hand. The hand consists of the carpals, the metacarpals, and the phalanges. First of all, we want to determine where the thumb is. In order to do this, we count the number of phalanges, and on the thumb, there are only two phalanges, whereas on all the other digits, there are three phalanges. So we know that the thumb is here. Next, we need to determine anterior from posterior. And this carpal bone here is called a hamate and has a protuberance, which is anterior. So we know that this is the right hand. There are two rows of carpal bones. The proximal row is here. And first of all, we have the scaphoid, the lunate, the triquetrial or triquetrium, and then the pisiform. The distal row, we have the trapezium, the trapezoid, the capitate, and the hamate. The metacarpals are numbered, numbered one through five, laterally to medially. So this is metacarpal one, two, three, four, and five. The heads of the metacarpals form your knuckles. And then the phalanges are the proximal, the distal, and then on the fingers, we have the proximal, middle, and the distal. So now let's take a look at the foot. The foot is similar to the hand in many respects. But here we have the tarsals, the metatarsals, and then the phalanges. To determine the big toe, or as we call it in anatomy, the great toe, once again we count the number of phalanges. So the great toe only has two phalanges, where all the other toes have three phalanges. The tarsals, this bone is the talus. And we can see it has a rounded top that articulates with the tibia. This bone is called the calcaneal, and it is the heel bone. This bone is the navicular. Then we have three cuneiforms. We have the medial, the intermediate, and the lateral cuneiform. And then this tal this tarsal bone is the cuboidal. Once again, the metatarsals are numbered one through five, but on the foot, they're numbered medial to lateral. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then the phalanges are named the same as they are in the hand. We have the proximal and the distal. And on the toes, we have the proximal, the middle, and the distal.